Welcome to WebTrafficBrokers.com's auction video series. In today's video, I'd like to discuss two major components of WebTrafficBrokers.com. The first one being WebTrafficCops.com, which is a third-party tracking service that we have developed over the last 10 years. WebTrafficCops.com is completely free to our members. The second, of course, is our ODR system. Our ODR, which stands for Online Dispute Resolution, if for any reason you have a dispute between a buyer or a seller, you can file a dispute. We have a three-stage method that helps you resolve it, and you can get more details by clicking on this link here. But for the time being, let's go back and let's talk more about WebTrafficCops.com. We developed WebTrafficCops.com for one major reason, and that is to provide buyers and sellers with more favorable terms and conditions that are fair for both parties. You'll find that many pay-per-clicks and ad networks, not only do they track the clicks, but they also track the revenues too. We feel that this is somewhat a conflict of interest, and we need to provide a third-party source that has no interest in the buyer or the seller's revenues or click counts. And we'll get into WebTrafficCops a little bit more in a moment. First, let's go through the listing. Basically, this listing was created by the seller, and we're in a buyer's account right now, but the seller is the administrator. The listing is called WTC Test. There are three winners. Let's view the history. Here are the three bidders that won this listing. Each bid 3,000 visitor quantities, and each won. I think there was a total of 10,000 visitor quantity, and it's a Dutch auction. We're going to pay attention to D-O-M-D-E-P-T-B-B. -B. So let's go into the control panel and find out how to set up a web traffic cop tracking campaign. What we're going to do here is we're going to try to set up a redirect URL. Again, this is the buyer's account who won the auction, and they're going to tell the system where to redirect the traffic to. Our system will convert the URL that the buyer inputs here, and it'll provide you a tracking code that you give to the seller. The seller will send the traffic to that tracking URL and we will track it in Web Traffic Cop and then from there it'll be redirected to your ad or your landing page. So let's go ahead and find the auction that we just won. The seller was the administrator and as you can see it says you must pay for this auction first before you can create a WTC campaign. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to pay for this buyer here and we're going to come back to this page and I'm going to show you how to create a campaign. Okay, we're back at the buyer's control panel. We're getting ready to activate the campaign for this auction, and we're doing that through webtrafficcops.com's campaign page. We click this link here. We're going to select the auction, and I know that it's the second one here. The first one, we went ahead and created that one to show you what CPM would be like. But since this auction was CPC, cost per click, we wanted to give you a bird's eye view on how that works as far as creating the tracking code. All right, we selected the auction, and you're presented with uh, two selections here image ad or link text ad. If you click on link text ad, it becomes fairly simple. You just enter your landing page to where you want the traffic to be redirected to. If you were to select the first one called image ad, you would uh, click on that radio button and you're presented with two more selections asking whether you, the buyer, are going to host the ad or is the seller going to host the ad. If the seller hosts the ad, you'd click that radio button, simply upload your image here and on the seller's side, who is the administrator in this case, he'd be able to download your image. However, if you, the buyer, are going to host the ad, then all you would simply do is enter your redirect URL here to where you want the traffic sent and the image path of the URL to your image like this. Simply click submit and your campaign has been activated and the code has been generated for the seller. If you wanted to watch the stats after seller sends traffic, you would again select the campaign, get stats. Seller hasn't sent any traffic yet, so the campaign does not exist. That's it for the buyer side. First, before we move on to the seller side, I did want to show you what the difference is if you were to select a CPM. CPM, you go through pretty much the same routine. Only difference is, is that the code that's created for the seller will be a little bit different. So let's move on to the seller side so that you get an idea on what the seller has to do to activate the campaign. Okay, we've logged into the seller side, the seller's administrator. We're going to go ahead and find the campaign and the buyer. We know that the buyer is this one right here and once you click on that you'll see the drop down for the code also if you can remember the buyer is going to host the banner ad so we have the URL to that banner ad here the tracking codes here and all the seller simply needs to do is copy and paste this into his pages now again just to remind you the visitor quantity on this auction was 3000 so the seller has an option here to enter a overflow redirect URL so that after 3,000 hits are, are delivered to the buyer, the traffic will overflow back to whatever URL is inputted here by the seller. If the seller were to leave this blank, then all traffic that is over 3,000 visitor quantity will be redirected to webtrafficbrokers.com. At this point, the seller would click Submit, 
and the campaign is activated on the seller side. If the seller wanted to see the same web traffic cop stats as the buyer, they would simply click on the campaign to get stats. Again, the campaign doesn't exist because the seller hasn't sent any traffic yet. And that pretty much covers how web traffic cops work. If you have any questions, please use our help desk or, of course, the FAQ has detailed information regarding almost everything you need to know about webtrafficcops.com. We'll see you soon in the next video. In the second part of this video, I'd like to discuss our ODR system, which stands for Online Dispute Resolution. Please go to My Account, File Dispute. Here, you can file a dispute between a buyer or a seller. WebTrafficBrokers.com offers an online dispute resolution so that if there's a difference between revenues or click counts, you can file a dispute to reconcile those counts. It's surprising how many major pay-per-click and other ad networks offer no means of reconciliation between buyers and sellers. WebTrafficBrokers.com offers a three-tier dispute resolution process. First one being member to member. We hope that members, both parties, can resolve the dispute themselves. However, if they can't come to a resolution, they would go into our second tier, which is Web Traffic Brokers Assisted Dispute Resolution. And of course, if reconciliation was not achieved through that process, you'd enter into the third tier called arbitration. But before you even file a dispute, let us just say that based on 10 years of experience with dealing with many advertisers and many traffic providers, we have found that the acceptable discrepancy rate is 5%. And basically what that means is that we've had partners that have delivered thousands of dollars in traffic over a month, and we found that our numbers in terms of revenues was a difference of ten dollars in contrast to that we have had other partners and we have found that discrepancy rates were in the thousands of dollars so with that said there are very many partners out there that filter traffic more stringently than others and if you're a seller of traffic you'll find that your discrepancy rates could be very very low or very very high and that's why we decided to create the dispute resolution so that both parties can have a way to reconciliate revenues and numbers if for any reason you you see that your discrepancy rate is 5% to 10% then I would discuss with the seller to determine why the discrepancy rate is a little bit higher than normal. If you see discrepancy rates above 10%, please use our email system to discuss with the seller why discrepancy rates are so high. One thing we like to mention is that if for some reason traffic is not converting, it may not be the traffic. It could very well be that the landing page or your website is not converting qualified traffic. We consider qualified traffic to be real visitors. Therefore, if a seller is delivering real visitors to your site and the conversions aren't acceptable to you, then we suggest you try another source of traffic. But we do not consider that traffic to be fraudulent or non real users just because it's not converting. That's just based on our experience. The dispute resolution process is for both the buyer and the seller to reconciliate differences. We just act as a facilitator so that both parties can resolve those differences. To start the process, you would simply click this button here. If you have any more questions, click on this link or send a ticket into our help desk or visit our FAQ. Thank you very much for your time.